oftentimes uh, when you're using Salesforce for uh, a while and or can uh, get kind of messy in terms of list views. So you might open, you know, a, a object tab up and you might have like 300 options here, whatever the case is. Uh, you can see here if I flip to maybe leads, I think I might have a little bit more. Uh, you see you have view custom one, view custom two. There might be certain scenarios where people are creating public list views when they should have been creating private list views, all types of stuff like that. So uh, a real easy way to get a good feel for uh, like what list views you should delete. Maybe you've got, you know, a ton of different apartments in here. You're an admin. You can't really see who's using what list or whatnot is using Salesforce Workbench. So uh, if you go... Uh, and just type in Salesforce Workbench on Google. Uh, you'll be able to find this link. I'll also put it in the description of the video. Uh, but what I'm going to do is lo uh, log in with Salesforce. You can see I'm in my test org here. Boom. Now I picked uh, SQL query for uh, like the tool that I want to use. And it's okay if you don't know SQL, don't, don't freak out. It's, a, it's very easy to use. I'm going to first choose the object that I want to find. So I'm going to say list view. So you can see it starts giving me options, right? I'm going to say ID. I could type in a max number of records I want. Or, and then I can add filters as well. Uh, if you know SQL, you can go ahead and just write straight in here. So let's check out the fields that we have available for list views. I can see last view date. The last view date is only going to show the last view date for the person creating the query or logged into Workbench. So this isn't that valuable if you're in an org with a ton of people. If you're in an org that has very few people and uh, you know 10 people and you're all really using the same views, this might be something you can use. But for me, in this circumstance, I'm trying to paint the picture of a of a large org that's gotten out of control with uh, list views, that's not going to be too uh, beneficial for you. But I do have a uh, created date, right? That could be beneficial because if something is created three years ago, I know that maybe no one's using it anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, I also have created by ID. I'm going to do that as well. Maybe I can run a V lookup on that and see. Uh, which you maybe there's views created by users that aren't in the org anymore. That's a good indicator of maybe it needs to get deleted because if someone created it and they're gone, people can even edit the, the filters, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to pull ID name, created date, and created by ID from list view. If I query that, I end up with a list like this. So uh, what I can do from here is if I pick bulk CSV, and I query this again. You can see here that it's going to give me uh, a batch ID. If I copy this and it's complete, I can also just go here and download completed batch results. You can see I've got the CSV on the bottom left corner of my page. I can, um, if, once I download this CSV, I can. Let's say I want to sort by created date. And then, you know, I can come in here in bulk and then see what, you know, which ones I want to keep and which ones I don't. Uh, bad part about list views, you can't bulk delete them through like a UI data loader tool. Uh, so you'd have to go in one by one and delete them. But, you know, it's the best way to kind of check what you have at a glance.